Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, getting back to Cuphead, and we've cleared out this little area full of bosses at the start of Inkwell Isle 2, and that means we can move on. Okay, what do you have to say? You can't catch me, unless you take a shortcut. That's what some punk kids did last week. It's the only way they could have beaten me to the rides. Say, maybe you could show me where the shortcut is around here. So, I'm actually not sure where that is, or if I even have access to it right now. I think there's... Maybe this is it. Okay. Yeah? You can go quite a distance with that. Yeah, all the way over here. So, is that the shortcut that she meant? Does just going through it count as showing it to her? Thanks, fellas. I knew there was a faster way across the island. Now I'll be first on all the rides again. Here, take this coin as my way of saying thanks. Oh, well, thank you very much. Okay. So, that worked out. Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, who has two wings and forgot they already bought the charge shot? This Durgan. I want to see what this thing does. Let's actually hit the right buttons, though. Also, Jumbo Rebound. Kind of wish it described what the EX attacks do, because I've probably seen this one in other people playing the game, but I don't remember what it does. But yeah, I want to see what Charge Shot does. So we're going to try that on today's stage. Funfair Fever. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, it has a lot of power behind it. Okay. Okay, cannot dash through those. I'm starting to see what might be a problem, though, with this. Yeah, you don't actually get a whole lot of charge for your charge shot just in firing. You did look foolish today, but clown tryouts are next week. Because, yeah, by comparison, I want to say I'd charge up my super meter a lot faster just firing normal shots. The enemy types here, though, are kind of weird, so I could be completely wrong on that. Also, shooting the balloons is a very, very bad idea. Okay, that does actually give me a card for the parry meter. Also, this music is sounding very much like Super Mario World. I can't deny, though, that the charge shot is very powerful. So in an area where damage counts, but I maybe have a lot of parry opportunities to fill out the meter, it's probably not a bad idea to have. Oh, right, you guys. Okay, I can still rapid fire, though. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. So yeah, by mashing the button, I can fire just rapidly, similar to Mega Man. And I was on the wrong shot type. The charge shot is definitely a trade-off. Sheer power, but areas where you more want rapid fire or coverage, it's actually probably not the best option. Yeah, I'll just do that. Why not? Go ahead and use that just because. Mm, that was almost a very, very bad mistake. 
Yeah, hitting the bell does not give me anything in the super meter. Well, that didn't quite work out. I don't know if I just dashed badly there, or if maybe you just can't dash by them. Well, no, you'd have to be able to for the pacifist rank. Also, I think this might have been the other stage that I remembered reading in the patch notes had that problem. That it had too low of a clear time to be reasonable. Okay, yeah, you can go through them easily. That timed out badly. Okay, yeah, we're still not done. Uh, okay. The axe from the charge shot doesn't seem to have a lot of coverage. Better I just used it wrong. At this point, I'm largely just trying to complete the level so I don't have to worry about gold coins, but that failed anyway, didn't it? Well, that was fast. Eh. Uh. Yeah, if the trampoline hits you from the side, I believe the spikes on it will hurt you. I didn't expect to land on that again. Only got four that time, but it's fine. I've been so caught up in doing boss battles, I kind of forgot that using e uh, EX and super attacks during a run and gun, that doesn't actually matter. Okay, yeah, I'm really not sure about the EX attack of the charge shot. I'm guessing for the pacifist run, I'm gonna have to dip under that. Overall, I'm not really sure how much I like the charge shot. It does undeniably have a lot of power behind it, but it's fairly awkward overall. It's that trade-off again that you're not doing constant damage, but you do a lot of damage at once, but if you miss that shot, well... was it actually worth it in the end? Stop already with the ketchup and relish! And mustard! Yeah. Now, you have some distance to you, so I may actually want the charge shot here. Okay, so did we do it fast enough? Because I think I did everything else.
Nope, took too long. I kind of figured that might be the case. Wait, it gave me an A plus for it? Huh? Hold on a second here. Yeah, it gave me A plus. What? Now they bugged it going the other way. <laughs> the time didn't go golden, so I didn't actually do it fast enough, but it went ahead and gave me A plus anyway. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I feel like I should still try and do this right. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> what do you even say to that? Anyway, though, I am, I think, going to switch back to the pea shooter for now. I just feel like the constant damage, I think that suits me a bit better. And... I don't really think Roundabout's going to be too great for this stage. So, yeah, let's try again. At least I don't have to worry about the coins. That's rude. Okay, let's see if that was fast enough. There we go. Now I actually feel like I earned it. That's really weird that it gave me the A+, before I technically did. I would have felt kind of bad about accepting that. Of course, now we still need the pacifist rank, but after doing all that, I kind of feel like that's going to be a bit easier. I at least think I know what all I need to do. Thank you. 
Well, not with a performance like that. Now, go! I am going to have to save some HP. Now, this is one of those times that having more HP might be worthwhile, but at the same time, I still just really don't want to lose the smoke dash. All in all, just having that better dodge, I think, is going to serve me better in the long run. Like, for example, being able to get through these walls of enemies. Okay, you can just flat out go through that. Okay, that too. Apparently you can just go through it. So a lot of the ones where I was worried about invisible walls don't seem to have them. That simplifies things. It's a weird kind of inconsistency, though. The Magician's shots are another thing that I'm wondering if you can parry them, because at least part of it is pink. Yeah, you can just go right through that, no problem. It's looking like I may have to eat an HP there, I'm not quite sure. Okay, can I get past you? Yes, I can! So that should be the pacifist rank out of the way. And there we go! So I can show a bit of proof of concept here of why I do want to show getting A-plus ranks first. If we go over to the list, notice that the pacifist rank overwrites my A+. So I do want to show getting both. In some ways, getting the A+, is a more difficult run because of how much you have to worry about doing. Whereas pacifist, it's an entirely different kind of challenge, so I do think they are both worth showing off. But with that, that's where we're going to call it for now. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. I have a newfound mistrust of balloons. <laughs>